first class rank requirement 2A. Help plan a menu for one of the above campouts that includes at least one breakfast, one lunch, and one dinner, and that requires cooking at least two of the meals. Tell how the menu includes foods from my plate or the current USDA nutrition model and how it meets nutritional needs for the planned activity or campout. Some questions you should ask yourself when cooking for your patrol. How many will you be serving? What kind of activities will you be doing? Does anyone have special food needs? How will you be transporting the food? Are there any special weather considerations? And what is your budget? First, how many people will you be serving? Figure out who is on your patrol and who will be going on the camp out or outing. Are any adults eating with you? Are you serving the whole troop? Read the suggested serving sizes on all packages as you go to the store when you're planning your meals. What kind of activities will you be doing? Will you be hiking, canoeing, backpacking, doing merit badge classes, sporting activities, or swimming? Each one of these will require different kinds of food needs. The more active you are, the more food you're going to need. But certain things like backpacking could limit how much food you can carry with you, or canoeing might require that you pack the food in a special way to keep it from getting wet. Merit badge classes might either provide their own food or mean that you need to eat inside without any cooking. So make sure that you know ahead of time. Do any of your scouts have, or adults have special food needs? Discuss this with your scoutmaster. Are there any medical issues that scouts in your patrol or troop have before planning the menu? You don't want to create a wonderful food choice that everybody likes and then find out that a scout is allergic to eggs or peanut butter. How will you be transporting the food? Depending on the way that you're transporting the food could mean a big difference in how much you can bring and what you should buy. Car camping is different from having a troop trailer, and that's also going to be different from backpacking. Each one of these will require that you look at different foods and different amounts of food depending on what kind of camping and what kind of transportation you have available. Weather considerations. You definitely want to think about what, kind, what the weather will be like. The kinds of food that you're going to choose might not suit the kind of weather that you have. When it's hot, people like hot weather foods, I mean cold weather foods, like soup or chili. In the cold weather, people, or in the hot weather, people might like foods that are cooler, like fruits and vegetables and sandwiches, things that you don't have to use a fire or cook in order to make. And always think about what's gonna happen if it rains then you may have to think about simpler, easier to make foods that aren't going to require you to be out in the weather. What's your budget like? Think about how much your menu is going to cost in order to purchase it for each and every scout in your troop or patrol, as well as any other adults or guests that will be eating with you. Try to make sure that your menu stays within your budget. What should you buy? Always try to think fresh food is better. Frozen is not bad. But then you must think about making sure you have ice. So that's not going to be great if you're going backpacking. Dried or dehydrated foods are great for backpacking and are very lightweight. Canned foods aren't bad if you have a troop trailer or you're going car camping. And then don't forget about convenient foods such as meals that are ready to eat. Always try to plan healthy meals. Make sure that you look at myplate.gov and make sure that you look at the fruit and vegetable content of the foods that you're planning on having. Fruits and vegetables should make up about half of your entire food for the weekend or other outing. And then don't forget, 
condiments and spices. When you go on a camp out, it's always bad if you don't have ketchup or salt or butter or sweetener. So make sure you have all of the condiments that you need for whatever food that you're planning on serving. And finally, make a list of all the pots, pans, and utensils that you will need. Because if you don't have it, you can't get it. This has been Scatter Rob. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. And happy scouting!